Well, that's a wonderful, beautiful, warm old sound. One of the reasons it sounds so wonderful, warm, and so old is because it is old. This is a very old guitar. It's uh, made of Brazilian rosewood by a gentleman named Preston Thompson up in Sisters, Oregon. And to me, when I first played this guitar, it just felt like a piece of art had gone off in my hands because of its simplicity and this, this simple elegance. It's made like they were made in, back in the 30s. It had a strange beginning. What happened was, is the Brazilian rosewood was cut in 36. They put it on a boat in 1937 to take this huge load of Brazilian rosewood to Denmark to make furniture of it. In 1937, off the coast of Spain, it sunk in a horrible storm and was lost, and they didn't even find the boat. But now all of the, all of the years since, that this wood was captured in the brine and the mud below the ocean until 2005 they found it. And so they brought up this huge boatload of very rare, straight-grained, beautiful Brazilian rosewood. I had a guitar not long ago that was, was stolen from me. I had a house break in, you know, the whole ugly story. My guitar was gone. And then this one came into my life and I realized the beauty and the wonder as a storyteller, of course, I was as moved by the story almost as much as I was the beautiful tone and the way this thing plays. And the workmanship is absolutely incredible. And it's built exactly everything, exactly the way they would have been built in the 30s. And this old growth of Brazilian rosewood like this guitar is made of, you just don't find anymore. One of the beautiful parts of the story was, is when I found this guitar and I began to play it, it, you know, it causes something to come alive in you, of course, knowing the story. And after all those genera or generation or two, and then resurrection happens, and this beautiful song can come forward. That tells me that wood was never meant to be a table or a chair in somebody's house. It was meant to be heard. And uh, as beautiful as it is uh, vis visually, it's also equally or more so it's be beautiful in the tone. And... Uh, I realized it was replacing one that had been stolen. And then when we started researching, the name of the, the, the ship that went down was actually a Portuguese word, which to us means St. Anthony. And uh, St. Anthony is the patron saint of things lost or stolen. And so, you know, the story just becomes even more beautiful as it unfolds so much like our lives. You know, a lot of times we go through seasons of loss but there's a sound and a tone and a song, and uh, there's some beauty uh, that can come out of even shipwrecks and out of th things that have been lost. Uh, so it's just every time I play it, I'm reminded of, of kind of the grace and mercy of God on us all. And uh, it, it always awakens a thankful heart in me. And I'm truly thankful for uh, uh, those guys up there that uh, uh, Preston is, is truly a world-class luthier who has, uh, who has been uh, uh, now a friend for a, for a time. Just wonderful guys, um, and they do amazing work. And, they, and just go to their website or, or call them. My goodness, get to know these guys. They're real guys that they are making real instruments for real people to bring forth their real sound of their heart. And that's what this thing does for me. And uh, anyway, bless you.